Hi yogis, welcome back. Today's class will be focused on moving meditation. So we'll be doing a series of different flows. So the movements that will repeat themselves. Once you have the movement down, you can just go breath to movement and get lost in the flow. So remembering that meditation isn't just forgetting or losing all thought and having a still mind. It's just being aware of our body and our thoughts and where it takes us. All right, so let's get started on our backs today. Feet as wide as the mat. Gently roll your back down. So soles of the feet on the earth. And then knees come in to touch so they support one another. Gently close your eyes. Tuck your chin to your chest. Bring one hand to your belly and one hand to your chest. Just start to feel your breath underneath your hands. Scan your body. See how you're feeling today. Start to slow your breath down. Feel your belly rise and fall a little bit higher and lower as you exhale. Notice from here at the start of class what's slowing down your breath. Feel for your body. Straighten our arms and our legs and take a big good morning stretch. And then bring your knees to your chest and walk side to side, massaging the low back. Now bring your knees to center and just make little circles in one direction and then the other. Take your hands behind your thighs and start to rock back and forth, massaging the length of the spine. Remember to get enough momentum up to a seated position, and then we're going to make our way to our tabletop position. So hands below shoulders, knees are stacked underneath the hips, tops of the feet down. Inhale, drop your belly, chest forward, cow. Exhale, round the spine, chin, chest, or chest. Inhale, come to neutral tabletop. Hug your toes, hover the knees. And exhale, press up and back for downward facing dog. Pause here for one deep breath in, one deep breath out. And inhale, slowly lower your knees back down to the earth. Big toes come to touch. And exhale, press those hips towards your heels for child pose. So that's our first flow. We're going to go through that again. Inhale, come up to tabletop. Straight in to cow pose. So chest forward, belly drops, shoulder blades. Round, go back, and then exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, neutral tabletop, tuck the toes, lift the knees, and then exhale, press back to downward facing dog. Inhale, slowly lower the knees back down to the earth. Press the hips back to child's pose. Good. Inhale. Come forward. Tabletop. Straight into that cow pose. Chest forward. Shoulder blades down and back. And then exhale around the spine. Chin to chest. Lift your back. Inhale. Hover the knees. Tuck the toes. 
and as health prospects never be normal. Inhale, gently lower the knees down to the earth. Press your hips back towards your heels, child pose. Inhale, walk forward and tabletop, straighten to the cow. Cast forward, arms back. And then exhale, round the spine. Chin to chest. Look for your breath. Inhale, tuck your toes, hover the knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, slowly lower the knees down to the earth. And now press your hips back towards your, your heels for child pose. Inhale. Exhale, round your spine to cat. Inhale, tuck the toes. Exhale, press back down. Inhale, gently lower the knees to the earth. Exhale, press back to child pose. Inhale, shift forward. Come to that cat. And then exhale, round the spine to cat. Inhale, neutral tabletop, tuck the toes. Press hips up and back. Down with the dog. Inhale, gently lower the knees. And then exhale, press back to child pose. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, come forward to cow. Exhale, round the spine to cat. Inhale, tuck the toes. Exhale, press back to downward facing dog. Inhale, gently lower the knees down to the earth. And then press back to child pose. Stay in child pose here. And then walk your hands forward towards your right. So we're getting a stretch now on the left side body. As you reach forward, press your left hip back. And then breathe into the left side body. And walk your hands through the center over towards your left. And then press the right hip down to the earth as you stretch towards the left. And then slowly come back to your center. And then come up the tabletop. Tuck your toes. Press your hips up and back for downward facing dog. So we'll be here for a couple breaths, a few breaths. Here you can pedal out your feet, sway your hips side to side. Release any tension that you have in your neck and just let your head fall lightly. You can play with outer and inner rotation of your arm. So that's bringing the crease of the elbow forward to the side. Good. And make sure that your hands are nice and spread wide too. And find that neutral downward facing dog. Bend the knees. Look forward between your hands. Step or hop to the front of the mat. Feet are hip distance apart. Slight bend in the knees. Inhale, lift halfway, exhale, fold. Breathe in, lift all the way up, vertebra by vertebra, reach up, see if you can look up. And exhale, hands to heart center. One more time, inhale, lift your arms up towards the sky. This time, reach for your left wrist, reach up, and then exhale, bend over towards your right. 
inhale, come up, and then switch grips. Grab for your right wrist, and inhale, reach up towards the sky, and then exhale, bend over towards your left. Inhale, come back up to the center. Exhale, lower your hands. Bring your hands to your sacrum with your low back. Inhale, press your hips forward, and exhale, the baby back bend here, so chest is up. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, pull back over. Inhale, right back up, arms up overhead. And then exhale, sit back into chair pose. Good, inhale and reach forward. Exhale, open arm twist towards the right. You look back towards that right hand, sit to the right hand. Inhale, bring that right hand forward. Exhale, open arm twist towards the left. Inhale, arms forward. Exhale, press your hands behind you. Imagine that you're sweeping a beach ball behind your back. Find a focal point on the ground and come up to your tippy toes. Heels up, look down. Steady your breath, steady your gaze. I'll do the key part. And then gently lower it all down, hands to the earth. And one more time here, lift halfway, hands against the heels, against the shins rather. And then exhale, fold. So both hands on the mat, take your right foot and step it back into that lunge position. Quick check here that you can see your toes past your front knee. And then gently lower that back knee towards the earth, top of the foot down. Find your grounding, your strong foundation, and then slowly come up, hands on your head. I'm just going to take some circles here, walk forward and back, just opening up the hip, waking it up a little bit. Good, now find the next central spot, press the right foot forward to square off the hip, and then inhale, lift your arms up, exhale, sink a little. And now gently lower your hands down to the earth. Step that left foot back to meet the right to high plank. Option, lower your knees. And then shift forward, exhale, lower halfway. Elbow tuck the rib cage. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale to your downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep arms up overhead. And then exhale, sit back into chair pose. Good. Inhale, reach forward, waving the heels. Exhale, open arm twist towards the wrist. Inhale, come back to your center. Exhale, open arm twist towards the and then inhale, come back to your center. And then exhale, shoot those hands behind you. Find that focal point on the ground and come onto your tippy toes. Relax the breath, relax the gaze. And then bring your uh, heels down to the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your left foot back this time to the left. And then gently lower the knee down to the earth. Top of the foot comes down. Find that strong foundation. And slowly walk your hands up. Hands on your hips. Take some sit hip circles here. You can sway side to side. Just feeling the tightness in the hips. A lot of us have tight hips from sitting. Good. Now, once you find a 
nice neutral spot. Spot through your hips. Inhale, lift your arms up. And then exhale, sink a little deeper. You got that knee. Shoulder blades are down and back, relax. Head to the chest. Good. Now lower your hands back down to the earth. Press your right foot back to that high plank. So we can bring those knees down. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale to lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, the downward facing dog. Head on your knees. Be here for a couple breaths. Deep inhale. And open up, exhale. Okay, bend your knees and look forward. Step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale to lift halfway. And exhale to open. Inhale, reach all the way up. And then exhale, sit back into that chair pose. Pause here on the inhale. And then exhale, open up, twist towards the right. Good. This is where we're going to change it up and move into our flow. On your inhale, draw your weight to your right leg. And then exhale, step your left foot back. So now we're in a twisted lunge. Be here for a couple breaths. If this feels too much today, you can always bring that back knee down. Twists are very energizing. They're good for the spot. Okay, in, on your next inhale, come to a regular crescent lunge. So we're facing forward, biceps by our ears. And then exhale, launch forward into warrior three. So you can have airplane arms here, you can reach forward. Chest comes forward, parallel to the earth. Inhale, bend your knee, come to one legged to Dasana. So knee is bent, you can flex your foot. And then exhale, bring that knee back down to the earth, you can right back down to chair pose. We'll take that on the opposite side now. So face this way. So deep inhale, reach forward. Exhale, open up, twist towards the left. Pause here. On your inhale, press your weight into your left foot. And on your exhale, step that to a twisted lunge. I can be towards that left hand. And now she's here to come down to the knee. And then inhale, come forward to crescent lunge. Biceps by your ears, bend through that front knee. And then on your, on your exhale, come to warrior three. Chest is parallel with the earth. Inhale, one legged tadasana, bend your knee, flex your foot, and then exhale right back into chair pose. So we're going to run go through that a couple more times, but breaths you have been this time. So you're in chair pose. Exhale, open arm twist towards the right. Inhale, put your weight into your right foot. On your exhale, press and lunge. Sorry, twisted. Twisted lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, one leg is it up. Exhale, back on the chair pose. Inhale. And then exhale, open arm twist towards the left. Inhale, put your weight to your left foot. Exhale, step back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, one leg is faster. Exhale, sit back to chair pose. Inhale. Exhale, open arm twist towards the right. On your inhale. 
inhale, press your weight to your right hand, to your right foot. Exhale, step the left foot down. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, one leg into the asana. Exhale, sit back to chair pose. Inhale, reach your right. Exhale, open up towards the floor to the left. Inhale, put your weight to your left leg. Exhale, twist it to one knee. Inhale, press it. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, one leg is the And then exhale, back to chair pose. Pause here. Deep breath in. Deep breath out, open arm twist towards the right. Inhale, ground through that right foot. Exhale, step the left foot back. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, launch forward, warrior three. Inhale, one leg is dasana. And then exhale, sit right back down to chair pose. Inhale, reach. Exhale, open up, twist towards the left. Inhale, ground through that left foot. Exhale, step back to lunge. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, one leg is dasana. And then exhale to chair. Straighten your legs and fold over. Forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold over. Grab opposite elbows, sway side to side here. Check in with your breath. Inverted and slow at the heart rate. Good. Release your hands down to the earth, bend your knees, step back to high plank. Shift forward. Slowly lower all the way down to your mat. Forehead on your mat. Arms reach behind you, palms down. Inhale, lift just your chest and your arms. Eye gaze down, neck in neutral. See if you can lift a little bit higher. And then exhale, lower it down. So we're going to take that one more time, this time we're going to lift our legs and our chest. So palms down, deep inhale, and lift everything. Keeping your pelvis on the floor, pressing your pelvis into the mat, lifting your chest, lifting, lifting your thighs and your feet. Nice and tight here. And then exhale, lower down to the earth. Take one cheek. One side, and the windshield wiper your knees. Good, hands to the earth. Press up to the tabletop, and then back to child's pose. Inhale. Or to tabletop. Walk your hands up that one hand print. Talk to your toes coming to that high plank. Exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, gently lower your knees down to your mat. And then slide your hands back towards your knees, rise up. So hips are stepped over the knees. Hands come to the sacrum, the low back. Press your hips forward, chest up. We're going to camel pose here. Good hip opener and chest opener. Eye gaze can be up. Just support the neck. Don't just let your neck fall heavy. Just find support here. Good. And then gently lower back down. Hips to your heels. Great. That's going to be our last flow series. So we, on our inhale, come to plank. And then on your exhale, come to downward facing dog. Inhale, gently lower 
where your knees can be heard. Slide your hands back towards you, come up on your knees. Press your hands into the sacrum, hips come forward, chest up. And then exhale, lower back down. Inhale, reach your arms forward. Tuck your toes to high plank. Exhale, press hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, gently lower your knees back down to the earth. Slide your hands back. Come up to your knees. Hands on your low back and press forward. Lift your hips forward. You can squeeze your butt to get them a little bit more forward. Good. And then gently lower your hips back down to your heels. Come back to that high plank. Tuck the toes. Belly is drawn in towards the spine. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, gently lower the knees. Slide the hands back. Bring them to your low back, press forward. If you want to take camel a little bit deeper, go ahead and tuck those toes. And then reach for your heel. Um, really push your chest up. It's okay to stay here. Good. Couple more times here. Come to that high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lower the knees. Exhale, slide the hands back. Hands to your low back. Press forward. Inhale. Yeah. Gently lower the hips towards the heels. One more time. Come to that high plank. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lower the knees. Slide the hands towards your knees. Hips up. And then press your hips forward. Okay, bring those hips towards your heels. Slide your hands out and come to a child's pose. Rest your forehead. On the mat. And then rock forward to tabletop. We'll meet here at tabletop, so wrist below shoulders, knees below hips. Inhale, lift your right hand up towards the sky, open up. Take some rotations with your wrists. And on your exhale, thread the needle through. And then you can rest your cheek on the mat. You can take your left hand and reach it forward or take a bind to open up the left shoulder as well. And then slowly come back out of that. Unwind, reach your right hand back up to the sky, and exhale, lower it down. Inhale, reach your left hand up, take some rotations with the wrist, and then exhale, throw the needle through, and rest your left cheek on the mat. And then same thing here, you can take variations with the right arm to open up the right shoulder. You can reach forward or take a bind, just opening up the space in between the shoulders right now. Slowly release, come up to your neutral tabletop position. Bring your feet to the side and slowly, well, slowly lower your booty to the ground. Come to the top of your mat, make sure you have enough room behind you, and then slowly lower all the way down. Tuck your chin to your chest. Good. We're going to take that reclined pigeon, so cross the right ankle over the left thigh. And then draw that left thigh in towards your chest. You can reach for the back of the thigh or for the shin. And then press that right knee towards the front of your mat. Yeah. 
switch to you bring your left ankle over your right thigh. Same thing on this side, you can reach for the back of the thigh for the shin. And then press that left knee towards the front of the mat. Gently release. Bring your knees to your chest. Open your knees up. Take your hands inside your knee. Reach for both your ankles. Your happy baby. And if your low back touches the earth, then you can walk side to side. Knees into your chest one more time. Squeeze in, bring your forehead to your knees. Nice tight ball. And then exhale, Shavasana. Take any comfortable position here so that you can be nice and comfortable. any tension in your feet, relax your thighs, relax your belly, relax your hands, relax your legs. We have to release the tongue from the roof of your mouth. And you unpin your jaw. back into your hands and into your feet. Take a good morning stretch and then rock to one side using your arm as a pillow. Pause here for a moment. Walk your hands to your mat, press up to a comfortable seated position, keep your eyes closed, inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, palms come together, the heart center, one more time, inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky, exhale, palms come together, hands to heart center, thank you so much for flowing with me today, I hope everyone is doing well. Namaste.